Hello, Mark the Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life. And let's talk a little bit about how the coronavirus is messing things up. So, obviously the coronavirus is, uh, it's a pretty real thing. Um, globally, people are freaking out about it. And uh, it's kind of, you know, it's hard to tell whether or not, uh, you know, it, how severe it really is. But I think that it's good to err on the side of caution and, uh, and treat it as if it is really bad. And I know that I've personally been treating it that way. I will share something with you. I, uh, I've always had a low immune system all my life. And so when I go on business trips and stuff, I tend to come home with something. And I always, you know, at least have a cold. And, you know, maybe that's just everybody that that happens to. But for me, I've had pneumonia twice. And, uh, and I've had a couple of other illnesses. One of them that put me in bed for three months one time. And so... I, uh, you know, just have to be careful. And I was planning on going to GDC, which is the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco later this month, but that's been canceled. And so I don't disagree with that being canceled. In fact, people coming from PAX, um, PAX East, they were uh, posting selfies and stuff like that in front of the sign saying, goodbye, last conference ever. <laughs> You know, not that it really is the last conference ever, but uh, it may be for a while. We don't know, you know, what's going to happen. You know, the, you know, the word is, is that the virus has a lot harder time surviving when it's warmer weather and stuff. But that doesn't stop it from hitting Florida, which declared a state of emergency last night because I have a case reported in Hillsborough County, which is just below me and a case reported in Mantatee County, which is just above me. And uh, so one of them is from travel. The other one is from unknown sources. So it's here. And in fact, uh, we went to Costco the other day to stock up on, on extra groceries and, and other things just in case we, you know, had to stay at home um, because of whatever, <clears throat> whether it's other people are infected or somebody here gets sick, whatnot, and uh, they were nearly out of some things like toilet paper, you know? And so uh, people are stocking up, people are freaking out about it. Now, <clears throat> normally, I go to things like the Game Developers Conference, and that's where I get new business. That is where I go and meet with game developers face to face and say, hey, I think your game looks worthy of our attention. And they say, hey, we want you to support our game. And the reason for going to conferences, I'm gonna share a little tip with you, if you've been trying to do business in this realm, is that face to face, you can make such a greater impact with somebody and, and actually makes so much more progress than you can with tweeting to somebody or sending them a DM or sending them an email and God forbid trying to call one of the game companies. I mean, that's nearly impossible. Even with my resources, having been in the game industry for so long, it's still hard when there's a new game out there. Like I have four games on my list right now four games that I've been trying to contact because I believe that they're a good fit for our company. And of these four games, I have not been able to get a response back. And it's because my emails may not even be seen. My, you know, messages on Twitter may not be seen. And so how do I get seen? I get seen by going to these game conferences. But now, that's a problem. And because the game conferences, they're all shutting down. Um, they say GDC, they're gonna try and reschedule it for the summer. I'm skeptical.
because the way that the coronavirus is is going, you know, until we have some sort of vaccinations for it and better knowledge of it, uh, it's going to leave everybody paralyzed. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff that's just not happening right now because of it. One of my kids works at Bush Gardens. And uh, we were talking to him that he's probably going to get his hours cut because Bush Gardens is like Disneyland. It's here in Florida. And if there's less people coming to the park, then there are less hours for him to work. And so it's really kind of crazy, you know, the effects of this. Disneyland Japan closed. Um, you know, we could see all kinds of other stuff here that uh, that that closes because of this and uh, so I know that the the freight industry uh, especially shipping that like the shipyards that they are 50% down in how much uh, um, product is traveling through and you know all the factories shut down in China and I saw that like I'm recording this on a Pixel 2 phone uh, and the new Pixel 5 or 4a or whatever, I'm not sure. I know that my Pixel 2 has been absolutely awesome. And I've had it for over two years. And it's just, it's still working great. I'm really happy about that. And, but they, you know, so Google decided to move their manufacturing from, from China to Vietnam for their next phone. And I thought to myself, just because the virus hasn't hit there yet? Maybe they didn't know. They were trying to be preemptive. And, and I think it's gonna be a failed bet on that because, uh, because as this spreads, which it's going to spread more, and I'm not trying to introduce fear to all of you, but I'm just talking about the effects of this, um, but it's, it's gonna cause more problems for physical products. Those of us who are gamers, woohoo! I mean, look at this. We isolate ourselves anyway. It's not necessarily by choice, but it's how it happens. You know, we sit in our mom and dad's basements and we, you know, play video games. Well, I mean, that's the stereotype. Me, I created my own place. So I'm here. Now I have one of my kids who's an adult who plays video games all day and he really could resemble that remark. I won't, I won't tell him that I mentioned that in the video. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, but anyway, so it's really disruptive. It's disrupt. It's being disruptive even to our business. Now, I don't know what kind of what kind of you know. Will my Twitch viewership go up? Will my YouTube viewership go up? Because people are spending more time at home, or you know, will we do more sales for the games like Eve and stuff? Because more people are playing because they're stuck at home, which might be the case, but it also might be the case that people don't have as much money because, because their income is disrupted because of all of this. And if that's the case, where, 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 does this, where does this all land? Does this all land that people are playing more games, but they're playing more of the same thing they've been playing? Or they're playing games that don't have subscription, that don't cost any money? I don't know. It's hard to say. I can tell you, though, that if you're a game developer and uh, you know you want some attention for your game and you think it would be a good fit for us, you should contact us. And uh, because actively, our plan, you know, which is to go out to conferences and stuff, is not working at the moment. That might be your plan too, that you had planned to go and show things off at the game conferences. Um, there's another thing, students. So GDC is a really big deal for students in the video game industry, where they get to actually meet game companies and, and get things going. Uh, it's their first, it can be their first interaction from being a, a student to actually being introduced to the workforce, to going out there and getting opportunities. And uh, so that's all been canceled now too. And GDC is probably the number one place in the United States for that. And uh, I, I kind of predict that we're not going to see GDC this year. It'll just be next year. And, you know, hopefully they come out with a vaccine 
you know, I know there's a lot, there's a lot of people in the U.S. that are against vaccines and stuff, but for myself, it's the right choice. I would get a vaccination shot for the coronavirus, and then I'd be able to go out and do things. You know, I could go to these conferences with other people who have, you know, gotten the vaccine as well, or whatever. I don't know. It's really hard to say where this is going to go with the virus, what's going to happen. Um, and I know, and there's a lot of people who have no clue. I went to the liquor store last night. Yes, I decided that I should just stock up on enough whiskey to last a couple of months. So I did. And I found two bottles of Maker's Mark, two fifths. They were on sale for like 10 bucks off each. And then if you bought two, you get another 15 bucks off. And I'm like, ooh, holy cow, I guess I'm buying two. So, uh, yes, I like Maker's Mark, just, just so you know. Uh, and the, the lady at the cashier, she was like, boy, you guys are planning for a party. And I'm like, no, we're stocking up for the virus. And she's like, what? I'm like, coronavirus. She says, oh, I heard of that. And, I, and she, but she didn't have any kind of, of knowledge at all about how it was sending the world into a tizzy. And I thought that that was very interesting. There's a lot of people out there who just don't pay attention to the news and just don't know. Are you one of those people that this is the first you're hearing of it? I mean, you could be buried so deep in games that you've seen people mentioning it in chat and saying stuff like, oh, you know, go die of coronavirus or whatever, you know, the kind of really horrible things that we see in, uh, in chat and uh, but not understanding what it is and everything well it's here unfortunately whether we like it or not and uh, so um, yeah I don't know what's what's gonna happen but I'm trying to be prepared and, and I just wanted to share with you you know what kind of the effects are on our company and and what we're doing and everything. Um, thank God we work from home. So all of our staff over the last several years all work from home. And uh, so even sick, I can still work from home as long as I can talk. Actually, I can process orders just fine, even while sick. I can sit in bed and do that. Um, but uh, anyway, so we'll keep rocking. The shows are going to continue. I do have this other really big project that I'm working on, which I have not talked about other than to say I have a really big project, and I'm not going to talk about what it is, not until a later date when, when things are, are nailed in and I can, I can share with you, you know, what this is. Um, but it's one of those things that, you know, you just don't share. And so, anyway, um, uh, shows are gonna continue. Shows are going to be a little bit shorter right now because of this big project, but they're going to continue. So anyway, give me your comments below, um, and you know, how's how's the virus affecting you? Uh, are you losing hours because of it? Are you getting more hours because of it? Like if you're in in the medical field, you might not even be seeing this video at all, and you might normally see my videos because you are so freaking overworked right now. That's another thing that they've been talking about is that uh, the medical staff has uh, really, you know, if this thing hits really big, medical staff is going to be out of their minds and exhaustion is going to be a really huge problem. Uh, it, and in fact, exhaustion is already, they're already talking about it for, for some places where they're dealing with cases. So anyway, um, yeah, give me your comments. We'll follow up from there. And uh, I'll keep doing the live shows with the games. And if you're a game company, you want me to take a look at your game, email me. It's real easy to figure out my email. It's markydragon at markydragon.com. And uh, I'd love to take a look at your game, evaluate whether or not it'd be a good fit for us. Not every game is. And um, we're real picky about that, but it's because we only sell what we believe in. What I think actually has a chance of being really good. And um, so, anyway, I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds often. And uh, don't sneeze on your name.